Speaking of this song, I went to an artist forum yesterday, and like as an upcoming artist, I really don't be knowing who know me for real. I just be like in spaces, just and networking, and trying my hardest. But have it makes me feel so sweet. Like look at me, and be like, every time I see, I be like, ah, drop it low. Don't make me cry. For real, you know. That's a beautiful feeling, though. For real. Yeah, I be like, okay, not not my hard work paying off. Not y'all know me. Welcome, welcome, welcome to BBE TV. Here at the Beatbox, we have a lovely guest today, Mrs. On Rule, A and R, or my personal favorite, Awkward Niggas Rule. Welcome to the Beatbox. How you doing today? Good, and you? I cannot complain. It's a beautiful day. Um, I know it's hard finding the fort. Getting here was crazy. I know how it'd be. My first time coming up here was the same. This, I was like. Like, not the back alley area i was like what's going on he was like it's near loading dock i was like all right cool yeah. they ain't trying to kidnap me you ever try to catch the uber over here they're gonna be looking back like i hate that where? like do you know where you're going <laughs> hell no we both gotta figure it out um, one two three always be like is this the one they always drop me off like on the right side over there like why you do that bro you know i'm over here um but yeah uh let's get into your name i saw on instagram a, a cool story about um how you came up with your name uh can you t share with the people how you come, come yeah. up with awkward niggas rule so i was diagnosed with autism not too long ago and like my entire life i felt like i was just a little annoying like i kind of just came to the acceptance that like not everybody gonna like me it's okay but then i sat down with a trained professional and it was like no dog like that's that is a that is a dysfunctional system of the brain you're you're not you're not crazy and mm -hmm. feeling like your entire life people are like no nothing's wrong with you you're so great and i'm like thank you that you think i'm great but something is wrong because you say the most audacious shit at the wrong time <laughs> like i don't think normal people do this so basically i decided to use my platform to create a space for others that feel the same way and say hey like if you feel like something's inherently wrong with you just existing that you that you'll be accepted here and that i hope i make music that is just funky and groove and smooth and makes people feel feel good and accepted right right so because when you said that it like struck me because i be feeling that way like my existence sometimes like am i wrong for just being you know what i'm saying yeah. being me just existing um and somebody actually told me that before like you you probably a little little autistic and i took great <laughs> offense to that i was like hold on now wait a minute like what, what does that mean but the more i look into it like i've been the last few months kind of debating like maybe maybe do i have to sit down with them people yeah do i have to because i've already sat down with like i'm big on mental health so I, i've sat down with therapists but that's something i never asked like you know what do you think you think am i you know should i yeah. revisit some things about myself but that's dope as an artist though did you find that difficult starting off finding your lane because you felt that way about yourself um I don't say necessarily because of that specifically it was hard to find my lane. I feel like all artists, when they first start off, start off kind of just experiment. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I was doing a, a million things at once. Um, and I've, I've done that my entire life, like just trying to do everything all of the time at once. And having people say, hey... Um, try your best to organize your content first before you put it out. Because yeah. at first I felt like I've only been recording and releasing music for the past two years. So my first year of this, I was what? Yeah. I'm really proud of myself. I cannot tell it. So like at first I felt like I was just shooting like darts, like darts in the dark. Yeah. And they were like, Hey, you keep shooting out good content, trying to make it stick. But like, does this, this is this your niche what do you want your niche to be right. what do you want people to know you for and i was like all right cool and once i really figured out what were my two lanes that i really like wanted to work on full time or like focus my niche on it was easier to like consolidate my singles because i kept just putting out putting out singles and actually consolidating my work and saying oh all of these songs have a similar thing a theme i'm gonna put this in an ep i'm gonna put this in an album so definitely trying and i wouldn't say it affected that per se yeah. i would just say just being new just just being new so i don't listen to your music like he sent me something he's like what you think i was like hell yeah we gotta get her on here <laughs> hell yeah because as soon as i heard the first uh paparazzi 
okay. I was I was like, wait a minute, this feels like like something I like, like from the early two thousands. It took yes. me back. It felt like a Beyonce or a, who am I thinking? Like a Tweet? Is it Tweet? I'm thinking of. It felt had that energy to it, and I was like, wow, this takes me back to when music was music and videos were like a thing. And I peeped your video for Unwind. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the production. Thank you. It looks like time was like put into this. It was thought out. What inspired that video? I got to give all of the credit to my homie Darius. I love that man with my whole heart. I've known him since high school. I've seen him do so many good things with his photography. And when I first was like even doing this video, I only had like one idea really about what I wanted it to look like. I was like... I just want it to look really like high fashion. I want all black. I want silver. Like those are just some colors I'm thinking of. This is, I just had one idea about like having cameramen and he was like, okay, cool. And he prepared me throughout the entire way of like, I promise you, uh, cause he has more experience within just videography than me or like doing stuff like this. So he was like, everything is going to switch at a dime and you have to pivot and me as a per like you you sensitive about your artistry yeah. and so i was kind of like no i want this and th th th. he was like what i tell you it's gonna pit we gotta move we gotta this person drop this this person ghost me didn't do anything we've been working on this for two three weeks they gone now we like ah now i'm scrambling for another location for this and we he was like it's okay i already got you i already got another, another location we already got this i already bought this because i knew that that was gonna happen i knew that person was gonna show up i was like what he was like i didn't want to hurt your feelings but the way they was talking he was like i already knew they probably wasn't gonna show up so so where'd you end up shooting downtown first of all we had the idea of shooting near like this hotel because I was working with somebody and we ended up not working with each other throughout the entire process. But they just gave me this idea of like, hey, we you should shoot near like these business hotels downtown because it's a lot of business people. They're going to be in the hotel. They're not. It's going to be quiet. When I tell you that month was packed, we were sitting there like and I was and certain things didn't work out, but. God has it under control because I was going to rent a car, but I was like, I'm glad I didn't rent a car for this. And like, I ended up having one of my f mom's coworkers lend me her Range Rover for the event. I was like, thank you. Because we sat there like it's a million cars. We can't even even record. Where are we going to go? Right. And so he was like, all right, relax. I'm going to walk around and see. So like further down, like off lower Wacker, he found like a little quiet area. He was like, we can record right here and we going to do this. And how about we do this? And I was like, thank you. He yeah. was like, I already had a couple ideas put together, but he knows, <laughs> he knows I am, I'm real, I try not to be rigid. I know I have to pivot, but I, I'm, I'm sensitive. This is what I, this is what I envisioned. This is what I wanted. But nah. he, he definitely was like, you gave me hell and I might not work with you again, but I love you. And I already had some ideas in my back pocket for you because I knew certain things. So I, we got this going on. And also just thinking of things on the spot. So he was like, uh, some props didn't come through from Amazon on time. He was like, things happen. And he ended up, because I wanted like cameramen or I wanted like paparazzi. I wanted to, to be like that for, for Unwind. Yeah. And so he was like, well, how about we have your extra stand behind you? That was his idea. Like, like your security. And you kind of just have some like shots like that. And I was like, okay, cool. That sounds really good. And so he, he put it together really well. If I haven't gotten on his nerves too bad, I hope he works <laughs> with me again. Much I was, love. I was going to say, um. Paparazzi, the new single, right? Yes, yeah, it's his most yeah. recent. You got a video in mind for that? No, the first video or my video for Unwind was for Paparazzi, but mm. I didn't like the way my vocals sounded for the hook for Paparazzi. And I was like, okay. Uh, and I already had bought a couple of things for Paparazzi because I had the entire song already recorded. But as I listened to it, I was like, this isn't my best work. I don't like this. And I was like, what? I already, how, what am I going to put this music video to? And I had, and I was going to do Unwind or release Unwind next summer. But I was like, I like Unwind first. So, and they have similar like themes when it comes versus online and paparazzi. So I was like, let's just do a video for online and I'll record online. And I, and I got it. I ended up recording online in like four hours in the studio. And I was just in it. I just got it. It was so last minute. So yes, he really did try to prepare me that like, even the song, <laughs> gonna <mess. laughs> even the song's going to mess up. Like you're, you're everything's going to move around. So just be prepared. So mm. oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling on that. Um, 
What was I about to say? Yeah, I was stuck on that video though because first of all, what's catchy is the bitch duh is stuck in my head. I love you it. You need like hats and hoodies that just say <laughs> bitch duh just all across the front of the back, like big print. I might wear that a couple of times. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, like I for like real. <laughs> like for real. But um, I was listening to your music. And I came across this project you dropped on 420. How on the charts is crazy. It's crazy. Ron, if you haven't heard this, I was talking about it a little bit before you got here. If you haven't heard this, first of all, first of all, hold on. What's the joint? What's the joint? Spain without the S, you got to play that first. Oh, shit. You got to play that right after. I think that they in that order anyway. But, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro. Bars. <laughs> Bars is back. That's all I want to say. That's what I like. Um, what inspired that? Other than just some wavy shit. Because you dropped it on 420. So I know how you were coming. Like, I I just be smoking. And <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just be high. Um, but I ended up making an idea for the EP. Like a year before I dropped it. And I kind of just had an idea, but no songs written. And just over time, as I found beats, as I started to rap about just my life experiences and what I do as a person, it all just folded together and it came together on time. Um, yeah. But I really just want to do like really groovy shit. I think that's my biggest inspiration. That's the word. Like groovy 2000s. Even if it sounds like pop, if it sounds like R&B, even if it just sounds like alternative rap. I have a lot of different niches because I do be all over the place. But I want my main theme throughout my catalog to just be like, this sounds like early 2000s. It sounds like when music had lyricism and all and substance and layers to it and that you were intentional regarding what you said how you said it and what you did on a beat and that's the only thing that i want to convey regardless of what i do oh i'm with you on that who produced that or do you just like pick and choose from various producers um i oh my goodness i gotta shout out jojo i miss that man so bad we uh, he's recorded i recorded my first single with that man and i'll use evian studios i've been with evian studios the past my entire it's only been two years it feels like forever though but i've been with ivion studios my entire course of my career uh and the main producers that i've worked with at their studio is pedro he goes by dro and, and jojo and jojo's not there anymore but i still i still love that man and work with him sometimes so that's dope that's dope i try to i'm getting in that same bag where i don't want to get too far away from the people that i found my lane with so i want to stick with them like a man right here, he I don't even want to get into it. He got some beats he got some beats for days. And so him and some of my producers, I'm the same way. So I just kinda wanna build with that. Like before that I was doing a lot of YouTube and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And you it's hard to find a lane and stick with it because you're not really growing with that producer. You're not really around them. Y'all don't have that chemistry. Um so it's dope. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know yes. what I'm talking about. Um, and I've grown so much, so I know I can imagine you saying two years you've been at the same spot. I've been working with him maybe less than two years, so and we starting to build that chemistry. So I know where you at right now. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yes. Um, go ahead. I know I call Jojo my work husband. I'd be like, look, <laughs> I remember like I remember one time I I messed up and I booked the wrong producer, or it was like I'm I don't know what I did, but like the things on the website was messing up, and I came into the like I came into the booth, I came into the studio like, honey, I'm home, and it was, it was a whole different person. I was like, who are you? <laughs> and he was like, you booked me. I was like. He was like, nah, Jojo was last, like last hour, like you, it was you messed up. I was like, really? He was like, well, I appreciate the, I'm home. I didn't, it, <laughs> my bad. But no, what made me really work with those two producers was like working with other producers at that same studio and being like, you, you're great, but I don't sound the way I, I think I'm supposed to sound. Right. Like every artist has an idea of what they want to sound in their head. And like my first maybe like six months of like recording and releasing music, I was kind of like no this doesn't this doesn't sound like how i think i'm supposed to sound right. and when i first worked with jojo and we made he made my first single but like i think we did my entire like valentine's day ep in february of last year and then i dropped high on the charts that april no i dropped that this year oh my gosh anyway but just dropping different songs i was like oh he knows how to work with like female voices and makes me sound like how i'm supposed to sound and i was like this is it that's dope. That's dope. And that's why she know how much she got to charge y'all when y'all coming in her DMs 
about these features. I saw the post. Thank you. What happened? Man, let me tell you. I started like, I dropped on wine, and I think that was my first like semi major like uh song that got some traction to me as an artist other than i feel like it was my high on the charts ep did a little bit but on wine really did hit home when it came to my expectations of followers and people actually like getting on to me as an artist right. and i had a lot of people like dming me like i had about 10 or 15 people in one week just dming me like oh my gosh do you work with people can i can i work with you blah 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 and i'm answering people back like yeah my features are like a hundred dollars my performance are a hundred dollars and i got people like bitch i'm sorry <laughs> not to get disrespectful what? groceries is a million dollars gas is a trillion dollars if you don't pull up to the gas station with the exact trillion dollars they ain't gonna give you shit like just um, exact right. exactly a trillion what makes you think i'm gonna work for free especially as a black female artist at that it's disrespectful to ask anybody like hey i see you spend a 200 dollars just to go to the studio and get four hours in the booth and i see you spending a hundred dollars on beats i see you spending a million dollars just to get back and forth to performances Talk you about it. you gonna work for free for me right no <laughs> what's wrong with you you're gonna spend the next couple hours writing this verse and then you a gonna couple at time know? with it regardless of spending money or time just be respectful or it was what really got me was people's responses like it wasn't even people being respectful like oh okay a hundred dollars i don't i don't got it because i understand times are hard if you ain't got it right now you ain't got it right now but for you to like have a some type of like response to me or like adverse response to me even saying a hundred dollars is crazy wild because yeah. what i'll make it 200 stop playing with me <laughs> like, <laughs> stop yesterday's price yeah. is not today's price y'all gonna learn y'all gonna learn speaking speaking of music um it's been a lot going on thank you uh, no 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 don't get it yeah, i'm good no nah, but i hate it to be in the bay i don't mind it's I think this is the only time a black woman will allow anybody into her purse. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely not going in your purse. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that is so personal. <laughs> he said, I do not know you. I'm not doing that. Thank you. <laughs> That's somebody calling about a uh, $100 feature right now. I, man, and yeah. it's on silent. That's crazy. All right. Thank I you. I be hating that. I be like, like did I shut you up? Yes. <laughs> Like my watch be doing that. Bing, 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 bro. I know I muted you, bro. Like, like, why are you acting like my baby mama? Like, uh, you're not gonna <laughs> ignore me. Like, I put you on silent, baby. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, who are you listening to right now? What's your What's your go to? Man, I've been listening to a lot of like. I would say like alternative rap, like spatial stuff. I would say like Smino uh saba bass ishdar who else fmn f mfn mellow oh he's a part of pivot game but like i was at a artist event not too long ago and i heard i heard like him rapping like risky his and i was like oh i like i was like okay so definitely just listening to like already know an artist but making sure that i don't just get comfortable with you know your favorite songs like yeah. usually like you'll be like all right i only like these couple songs and then a brand new song from the same artist comes up you'd be like nah i got my little my little yeah. niche but nah just branching out so keeping keeping it your options open your your palette uh what's the word i'm looking for keeping a open open-minded open -minded. I was trying to talk too fancy. Don't worry about me. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, um, um, I wanted to ask that because you know Andre Three Thousand dropped the album this week, and there's been some outrage about the album. I personally enjoyed this album. Did you get a chance to hear this flute album? Because it's crazy. No, I haven't. But I've heard a lot of people. <laughs> I've seen a lot of memes where people were like, <laughs> "The hate is unbelievable." Yes, I hate that. I hate when artists try to do new things, and because people are just so used to what their 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 niche that you don't you're not open to a variety of what this artist goes through and what they decide to put within their craft but i, I saw like a meme on twitter where it was like being over the age of 30 trying to rap is crazy nigga do some jazz and somebody somebody like reposted it it was like andre 3000 saw this yeah <laughs> but i like the jazz i like this the jazz yeah. i like the flu he did his thing i was upset when i because i put it i was like yo this album i was excited for it and then all my homies i ain't gonna say no names but i was disappointed in my people 
Man. That's all I'm going to say. They was, oh, man, I ain't about to listen to this Andre Flute album. And I'm, bro, give it. You ain't even heard it. It ain't even dropped. I listened to it. It was refreshing. It was it was like it cleansed my mind. I was able to yeah. think through some things. And I think it's good to have that. Um, it's not going to be a go-to every day. You can't pull up to the function playing that. <laughs> but when you need, that's good meditation music. Yes. I was smoking to this music. It was really good for that. You know, you could eat a bowl of ramen and, you know, think about your day with this. This is clean. This is deep. We need new generation cleaning music. Yes. Like... Every night, I'm going to drop a trombone album. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. You heard about this Diddy stuff? I have, but I really try my best to not get into celebrity stuff. I've never been a super f big fan of like celebrity business because I feel like that's rich people stuff. I'm going to let the rich people do what they got to do. So what you going to do when you get rich? I'm going to mind my business too. I'm not even going to mind my own business. She said NDAs everywhere. Yep, absolutely. NDAs We're not talking about this. everywhere. Because no. So what's going on tonight? I hear it's, some, it's an event going on. Yes, I have an event with Z Sage. I've seen her on the show. She does great Shout things. Out Z Sage. Shout out Z Sage. Me and her got some things going on tonight at nine. So we got a Thanksgiving uh, event. It's on my page. All the information. So, first of all, the flyer. Crazy. Yeah. We're talking about infused Jamaican cuisine. Is that what I saw? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That's what I'm saying. I need a plate. Cause Sage sent me the flyer. She was like, "Can you can you post this on your?" Yeah, I'm looking at. It. Yeah, like, Hold on. yeah. Wait a minute. Can I get a? Can, like you said, ten dollars, right? Ten dollars. Yes. Okay. You get a plate. My um my manager Wolf. He's putting this, some stuff together. So he cooks infused stuff. So he's throwing a event for all of his artists as well as opening up some people to like his new line of things that he's got going on with his cannabis infused items so definitely come through for good music come through for good infused eats and yes. dining in thank so, you so we as y'all know how we do here at the beatbox um we're about to get into a performance but before we get out of here any projects coming up any performances other than today any uh performances uh, man i have a like heavy hitter cypher that i'm doing november 30th with dj waterbody love that man um and i'm gonna start promoting a christmas song that i dropped last year not too long i'm gonna wait till thanksgiving pass because i don't want people on me like can we, can we can, cut the can turkey we, can, can we get our plates first before yeah. we start <laughs> excuse you mariah carey can you and i'm like i'm like all right but yeah i want to hear this christmas record i want to i was gonna put my christmas tree up on tuesday as you should because Come on now. Happy Indigenous right. People's Day, actually, for, for upcoming Thanksgiving. And then after that, I'm dropping a Valentine's Day EP on, yeah, on Valentine's Day. And it's going to be called Stages. It's going to have five songs on it regarding, like, the five stages of grief. Oh, so. I like that. Thematic music. It's music with a purpose. Storytelling. Not just repeating the same bars, just rearranging them. I like that. What's that? Oh shit, there go 12. That's my shit. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a big fan. All right, y'all. We're yeah. going to get up out of here. Uh, Unrule, a and R, Awkward niggas rule. However you want to address her, you better address her respectfully. And you better come with that whole fee for them features, too. Not for when, when we come back, go ahead. Quick thing about oh shit. Because you said, oh, there go 12. Like, most of that entire EP was about experiences. So, like, me being a fucking dirtbag in high school and, like, being with my, my friends after school in that shitty-ass 2001 Honda Accord smoking. And we'd be like, oh, shit, that go to police. <laughs> oh, no, nah, that's just that's just Chicago University security. They ain't gonna do shit. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> they always be like, oh, that ain't that. Security getting no respect. <laughs> they fucking know. <laughs> All blurred ass. What nigga. you gonna do? Give me a stern talking to? <laughs> yeah, they got no handcuffs. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, we'll be right we back go. with the performance of next. Lay off. I 
I see you seeing me, seeing you. Yeah, I know your type, that's true. You kiss goodnight, catch a fight, I hope we speak real soon. Your silence speaks volumes, no need to assume. Mm. We do what we do, stay smooth. Don't know me, but I know your walls don't need no room. We got sparks, I can blow your fuse. Smell like fruit, that sweet, that good. Put me in a loop, no reply, no room. But I could buy you flowers, how you end up in my shower, how you bent over my counter, got me surfing in you like a browser. Yeah, Did you swear he got you loud, I got you louder. Make that nigga stop walk. This ain't jail, no need to bond. Treat you like a curfew, hack you out in an hour. See you on the strip and turn to coward. See you a star, we can hang up by the moon. Turn up my tunes, let the speakers go boom. Turn the sky a different hue, put on high heels and suit your eyes. Sparkle like jewels, put that junk on cubes. The phone jazz. And we smoke on blues, make love in the pool I like the way you walk in like your perfume Never playing games, I know your next move Get you hard like statues huh? Kiss up on your navel, on your tattoos oh. We do different views and venues Gripping on your head, fuck up your gel and your moves Always coming through when I ask you yeah. How you in my seat around past two Fuck up in the hoopy, put your feet up in the sunroof if I have to Never put your business on blast Don't even talk when you strut past But if anybody asks Just friends, friends, we're just friends. Man, good plan, you know you love that girl. Why are you always talking about how y'all love We're just that? friends. Man, if you love her, you really gotta show her why you always got on the side. I mean, we're just friends. This is my tea, y'all on the corner right there. You better not tell nobody. I ain't trying we're to. just friends. Mm, is that your girl? I see you with her everywhere. I mean, we're just friends. I can give you demonstration of my love Get you care for it like a patient I ain't got no patience for you Give me hesitation Fuck, I look like waiting for you You was fire, never be a old flame Till your time can't go to waste And I can give you bitch stroke For the picture that I'm in. Your, your love is something I've been craving I've been praying I'm the low, I ain't mistaking you for dope You make me snort when you blow your tongue And oh, heaven knows you ain't the same I can give you small escape Like the Amazon, the way I am I can give you temptation Who can you blame? Nowadays, everybody want that glaze Can't Pay for the icing on the cake. No, no, no meals, no dates. What a shame. Don't know who they mama raised. Big body bands can't stay. If you think a Chevrolet against the gray, I can't say hey against the sun. Can't make me rain. Yeah, I gotta be brave. Cause for now, ooh, we're just friends. Man, if you love her, you really gotta show her why you always got on the side. I mean, we're just friends. This is my tea, y'all on the corner right there. You better not tell nobody. I ain't trying to. We're just friends. Mm, is that your girl? I see you with her everywhere. I mean, Check with you, gets boring You so plain, I'm boarding How could you ignore me? So it's over, it's over, it's over For real, I'm not playing Fuck me like this, ain't us, you won't room This shit spacious, this is Spain Without the S, I can't put breath in a nigga, I can make one You niggas ain't my day one I don't know you from how pain come in You all in my mix like Jason I ain't fucked you in a minute, this ridiculous Don't get it twisted up, I like cricket This pumpkin is wicked, half you niggas is gimmicks And I can't remember y'all exist, like be realistic Nigga, I called you a trick cause you licked it Fuck me, we got hits, don't want your compromises, excuses So your bullshit, I ain't the shanty, I can't be foolish Ain't no half sipping, I go harder than your fucking alma mater Bring the thunder like these tracks ain't getting no hotter I'm like Joe Houston, had to get me Houston Saying I ain't even know I do this Hold up, let me get back to the trick when I spit like this Bitch don't know the act, I'm the best thing, I'm the shit no 
gentlemen on rule awkward niggas rule thank you thank you thank you Obsessed with my flair like I know you stop Shake it Every stare like I know you want me Rumors in the gossip what? Please stop the talking Please post for the paparazzi Obsessed with my flair like I know you stop Shake me. it Rumors stop a stare like I know you want me Rumors in the gossip what? Please stop the talk Please pose and the lights go click, click Yes, I'm the guru in Malibu I want my rumble Malibu My paper don't fold origami Oh my jitsu Your nigga call me mommy Give me more head than shampoo And I don't need no interviews Yes, the leader get you fired Cause I'm Christian and I'm holy Bible Should I say this can't be Robert Boston And no title From the D to the A to J to Z You niggas that heard about me I check bitches No Nike I put licking And no Spike Lee I direct bitches Big influence No jeans on me My fans love me The religion is the truest Never paved the way So they can't get no restitution Hips dipping Now I'm trending On your screen YouTube it. Can't get up on this movement They can't get up on this juicy And I always been the flame So you can't keep your life to fluid Paper ain't can grow it Then I pay him like a trumpet Till he had to face the music While we cruising Get to pop it And the bruise it Get to pop it And don't For the paparazzi, obsessed with my flair, like I know you want me. Fans stop the stare, like I know you stalk me. Rumors in the gossip, they can't stop the talk. Yes, freeze pose for the paparazzi. Obsessed with my flair, like I know you stalk me. Stop the stare, like I know you want me. Hold on, I'ma treat them like bus. Take their ass back to the club real quick. What? Hands on the wall, tell them hands on the 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 hands
BBE TV. Bitch, duh. See y'all next week. Bitch, duh.